This video will show you how to adjust your containment doors. At Chatsworth Products, they have built in some nice features to allow for these adjustments. These adjustments will help you overcome some unforeseen site issues like an unlevel floor or a high spot in the floor, just to name a few. Hi, I'm Tom Cabral, Field Application Engineer for Chatsworth Products. I'm going to show you a few door adjustment techniques. I'm on top of the ladder checking the cross piece out. The cross member needs to be secured to your cabinet or other approved structure. Any movement in this will make the door not function properly. So you want to make sure that this bracket is solid and cranked down to the proper torquage. Then you also want to check for plumb and level. You want to make sure that you are level and that you are also plumb or the doors will not work properly. So your doors are hung. Here I have the fascia piece off, but they're, they're not working properly. They could not be closing. They're a little bit off. These bolts that you hung the door on, the tendency is to use a power tool or an impact wrench. Don't. You need to use a hand tool. You need to secure the door with just hand tightening those bolts. If you use a power tool, it will skew the door and all the other adjustments that you're trying to do could be all for naught by just cranking that down with a power tool and making the door uh, skew itself. Another adjustment for your containment door is the brushes. The brushes from the factory come all the way bottomed out, which will drag against a floor, or if your floor is uneven, it might even stop the door from closing properly. The first thing I do is grab a card out of my wallet and see if I can pass it underneath the brushes. If I can't, that might be an indication that your door brush is too low. Caution, these screws are put on tight from the factory. If you do this adjustment while the door is hanging, you have a potential to strip out these screws. I would rather you do them before you even hang the door. So before you hang the door, either loosen the screws or take the brush completely off. What you just saw was two adjustments underneath the door right here. You can take those two adjustments and bring the door up or you can, you can adjust the tilt so that this reveal closes perfectly and evenly the whole way through. What you see here is the bolt underneath the door. I usually start the nut at the bottom of the bolt or bottoming out the nut. That way you start from a common place. The other thing you can see is the, vis the visibility of the washer. You should be able to see the washer and the bolt. On this other door, you see no washer. A properly hung door will be plumb and level. It will take five to seven seconds to close and you will hear a distinct click. Watch. For more information, please contact a CPI sales representative or visit our website.